Well, I guess the cat is out of the box. Welcome back, and for anyone that doesn't already know me, it's your lucky day. I'm Josh, I'm a driving instructor at Toucan Driving. Now, a bit of quick background about me. If I'm not teaching someone to drive, and I'm not being a dad, then I'm probably on Apex or World of Warcraft. Bit of a geek. Hopefully you're here to learn about how to get the bite. If not, you're in the wrong place, so do one. As always, like, subscribe, and let's hit the road, Jack. This is the abbreviated version for any of you really busy folk. If you want to see the full thing, click on the link below or in the top right. So first we're going to briefly talk about sensitivity of the paddles. Do you remember that first time picking up the PlayStation controller and playing FIFA or Fortnite or Call of Duty? Or perhaps remember the first time you put that mascara on or, or the lipstick? How did it go? I'm betting it didn't go very well. Why? Because you didn't have practice. Well, getting the bite is exactly the same. It takes practice. You've never had to use your feet for anything quite so sensitive before. One centimetre thickness on the gas can be the difference between stalling the car and just holding the car still on a hill. First, we're going to talk about practicing holding the gas. So the gas is located on the right. So for this, you're going to use your right foot. You're going to keep the gear stick in neutral because there's no need to be in gear. Now look at the dash and have a look at the rev counter. This is slightly different in all cars, but it all means the same thing. Now, what you're aiming to do is press that gas with your foot and keep the revs between 1,000 and 2,000 revs. Now, on the rev counter, it might actually say RPM. Very quickly, this stands for rotations per minute. And this is how fast the engine is turning. Now, you will eventually also learn to do this by just listening to the sound of the engine. Because obviously, you can't be looking at your rev counter when you approach that roundabout or that junction. Now when pressing that gas, try and press it in increments of a pound thickness. For any of you out there that are wondering what I mean, this is the thickness of a pound. Those are the increments that you should be pressing that gas at. This will help you get used to the gas. Now the bad news is it does take practice. But if you put as much effort into it as you do doing your hair or playing FIFA, you'll smash it out the water. Now the good news is this can be done anywhere where the car is still, meaning if mum and dad will let you or a family member, you can do this quite easily in their car at home. But do make sure you get permission. Do make sure they're in the car with you. Now, while practicing this while the car is still, it's going to make life so much easier when the car is actually moving. And it's going to save you a lot of time and effort during your driving lessons. Now, let's get some bite and clutch talk going. Now, this can be practiced where there are no other moving vehicles and somewhere quiet where you're not going to have to worry about checking your blind spots all the time or being in anyone else's way. You're also going to want to make sure that the ground is flat. You don't want to be trying to practice this on a hill. That's for a later session when you've got a bit more experience. Make sure you're doing this with someone who's comfortable and capable of helping you with this. It is important to remember that with a provisional license, this would be illegal to practice this alone. Now the clutch is what's used to connect and disconnect the wheels from the engine. When the car is in gear, if the clutch is down, the wheels are still disconnected from the engine. If you bring that clutch back up, you are connecting the wheels to the engine. In basic terms, this is what makes the car move from a standstill. As you can imagine, very important skill. Now in order to make the car move, we have to find what is known as the bite point. This is the point when you balance the gas pedal and the clutch pedal to begin moving the car from a standstill. The question is how to start. Now I'm going to explain this in eight simple steps. One, using your left foot, press the clutch down to the floor. Two, put it into first gear. Three, take the handbrake off and make sure it's fully down. This is important. Four, set the gas between one and 2,000 reps. Five, lift the clutch slowly until the car begins to move and then keep the clutch at that point. Do not take your foot off that clutch any further or you will risk stalling. When you've traveled a few meters, take your right foot off the gas and cover the brake. Gently press the brake at the same time as putting the clutch down and gently stop the car. Seven, rinse and repeat. Start at one again and do this all again until you're super confident. Eight, practice this till you can do this with your eyes shut. But don't actually shut your eyes because that'd be ridiculous. By practicing this at home with someone capable, you're gonna save so much time on your driving lessons that will not be wasted trying to find the bite at roundabouts. This will also save you money as well because you will not be required to have as many driving lessons. Now, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, I am truly saddened, but don't worry, all can be redeemed. With a quick click on the magic like button, everything will be whole again. 
Now it might be worth clicking on the alert because the next video coming out will be my wife strangling me as I give her a mock test. See you soon.